It came from a, an idea, a flavor idea, and that idea was a cocktail, and it's a sangria. We thought about it, and there's not a sangria beer out there. Really, to get that sangria backbone, we went with brandy barrels, and we went with red wine barrels. And then in those barrels, we actually put a mix of different citrus fruits, and those fruits included oranges, limes, pears, blueberries, mangoes, and pineapples uh, that we blended with a wit-style beer. And that gives us a nice mix of fruit flavors, both in the nose and in the flavor of the beer. They had a really cool thing going on down there in Missouri, in St. Genevieve. Which is a winery, distillery, brewery, tiger sanctuary. Crown Valley is uh, unique in the respect that they can offer us both red wine barrels and also brandy barrels. So it's really the perfect mix of the flavor profile we're looking to get from the barrel aged component of the sangria beer. So, you know, this would be a perfect opportunity to be able to do a really cool collaboration and really tie everything in together. It's not just taking a bottle of sangria and a bottle of beer and just pouring them together. It's something completely different. It gives us enough freedom and flexibility to be creative in the way that we bring those flavors out in the beer, but it also gives us a, an idea to put in people's minds thinking that a sangria beer is really going to be a fruit forward, kind of refreshing spin, maybe slightly tart or acidic, has some wine elements to it, a nice blend of a cocktail, a wine, and in the end it's really still a beer.